parts of Clackamas County are encased in ice tonight. Thousands of homes and businesses are without power. Trees are down all across that area. Fox 12's John Hendricks was in Canby today getting a closer look. Driving into Canby, you can see the frozen mess left behind by this one two wallop of a storm. I go clear back to 79 and I think this is a little worse than 79. The roads in good shape, but the sheer number of trees and power lines brought down, keeping crews busy today. She was screaming, a tree just went down. Well into Saturday, this was the scene countywide. She's been doing that all day long. All of this beauty, a nightmare for Kitty and John Call. Overnight, a tree smashing into their home. It would probably be warmer if we went into the bedroom and take the dogs with us and everybody get in bed. And we were there maybe 20 minutes when the ceiling came in where we were. And I opened the bedroom door, and there it is. Then our living room's laying on the floor. It's like, a, it's like a bomb exploded. Their neighbors getting their own scare as well. At least it's just the one room. It could have taken out our master bedroom and oh, lots of things. Carol Missouri says a tree branch pierced through their remodeled bathroom, finished a week ago, narrowly missing. Her husband. My husband was in the bathroom and came within a couple of inches of this big branch impaling him. It's now just hanging there in the middle of the bathroom. A frightful ordeal, one that is slowly thawing out, but still bringing branches down with it. Our daughter went out and said, yeah, don't. It, it, you can't get around. John Hendricks, Fox 12 Oregon.